tuning into my channel, Bizudu Papillon, today. Um, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to upcycle this basket into a planter. And we're going to turn it into a planter for herbs. So, I mean, it looks okay as it is, but we're going to um, give it some sex appeal using these. To start off, I'm just going to stick this around and I've got two choices I'm going to use a hot glue gun and I've got this really strong Gorilla Glue I'll put all the details of everything I've used um, down below and I'll also you can also find the link to my blog where I'll have all the details of everything that I've used today Okay, beautiful people, we are going to start off using the hot glue gun. The reason why we're using the hot glue gun first is because it dries up really quickly and we want it to secure that cord in place. Once that's done, we are going to use the Gorilla Glue and you want to be very generous when you're putting on the Gorilla Glue because that's going to dry up and hold on very sturdily and your, your cord is not going to be falling apart. So go around with the Gorilla Glue and the hot glue gun in the corners Make sure it's nice and sturdy. Then flip your basket over and use the hot glue gun to hold all your cord in place. So just be generous with it, go around, make sure the cord is exactly how you want it to be. It's not moving and then we continue the process. So. Put some more hot glue gun like I've just done, hot glue, hold it there and then drink some tea <laughs> and get your Gorilla Glue and do the points like I've done. So points all along, buck, 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 stick on the cord. Hot glue gun in the corners. Repeat with the Gorilla Glue and the points. You basically want to keep repeating these steps, making sure your cord is pushed tight together each time. Right guys, so I've come to the end of the first row. And so I'm just showing you what I'm going to do to stick these two together. And I'm going to put something pretty after on the top where I'm going to write herbs. So that's going to cover the connection. But what you also want to do is push some glue on that so it doesn't start to untangle. So I'm just going to literally paint it in. Okay, hold it there. these things on Oops, do that. and then just underneath I will put hot glue so that it will help hold it in place cord is thicker than the space that I've got left so it doesn't matter that it's sticking above that it's going past it you don't want to see that plastic so stick that on there and again use the gorilla glue because it's more powerful than the hot glue gun for that bit so it doesn't come off and then use the hot glue gun in the corners like we've been doing okay so for the handle gorilla glue there then i've left a space where i'm going to put hot glue gorilla glue hot glue and you want to flatten your cord as much as possible so it's covering that handle.
Right, so now that we're done with this, I'm going to stick something pretty here where I'm going to write herbs or herb garden. And I've just collected these things while I've been out in the park or in nature. It's like a bit of bark. So you can really like choose whatever you want. And this is the one I'm going to use for today. So I'm just going to smoothen it out a little bit, not too much because I don't want it to lose its character. And then give it one coat of um, varnish, protect the wood on either side. And basically here, where I've got a bit of the white glue, I'm going to stick it on when it's dry. And then we'll wipe the herbs. So while my bark is drying, I'm going to start getting my planter ready for planting. And I've got this beautiful um, fiber cloth made from like coconut fiber. Again, I will put the link down below for you guys so you know where I got it from. And I'm basically going to line this. No, I'm not doing anything fancy fancy. I want it to look like a little gift basket, so like poking out a little bit on, on the edges. And, and I'm not looking for perfection, I really want that rustic look. But you want to make sure that there's enough so that your plants are happy. So what I'm going to do is fill the bottom of my basket with loads of rocks that I've collected and maybe pinched from people's front gardens. I got them from the park. You really want to make sure your, the bottom of your basket is completely covered and basically it's going to act as drainage so that when you water your herbs, the water doesn't stay in the soil because if that happens, the roots of the herbs will get rotten and then your herbs will die. But if you've got a good drainage system for the water to escape from, well, you've got herbs for much longer, which is the whole point of this. So to give this a bit of character, I'm going to fold in certain bits and then use the hot glue gun to hold it down. Maybe come here, do it again like that. Come here, do it again. Just go with the flow. So for the handle bit, I'm basically going to poke some out and then with a knife I'm going to slide through and then see my hand poking out and I fold that and I'm going to stick it on the inside fold this there and stick it on the inside as well so you can't see anything so pull it out fold it like that, put the glue on there, and then stick it on the handle. So, I mean, look at it, use your own judgment. You see there's like a space you want to cover, put the glue, stick it on, and voila. Cuckoo. Yeah, I don't want it to be covering too much of the beautiful work that we've already done. So I'll stick and then after I'll trim where I see fit. And just let your creative juices flow. You know, take a step back, look at it, come back, stick where you want. There's no rule to this. No wraps, you just go in there with your wall. Here's my basket. Okay, so now for the fun bit, we get our hands dirty. Um, just remember, put the rocks. And I'm going to just put a bit of soil, not too much. Just very thinly before I put my herbs. 
I'm gonna do the short ones in the front and the long ones in the back. Now to get them out, you just want to squeeze the plastic. Don't pull because you will damage the roots and they need their roots. And then just gently push again so that the roots can loosen up. So they're all tight and compact in there. And just place it where you want it to go. So I've got curly leaf parsley, flat leaf parsley, mint, coriander, and once again, basil or basil? Basil. Right. So this one, I'm not going to put this one because it's quite compact in there, which I mean it's good, but yeah. And now I'm going to fill in the gaps with some more soil. And as I fill in, I'm going to like stomp in so. That soil just, you know, there's enough around your herbs and it just goes everywhere. Fills in all the cracks. I'm going for some on this side here. Okay. Voila, voila. And of course, the most important thing to do whenever you transplant any plant and you put it into a different pot when you finish doing all your soiling and all of that is to make sure you water them and the herbs are a little bit like that because i've taken them out of their home and the plastic bags that were holding them up so in like a few days they'll be happy even by tomorrow morning they'll be happy and like getting used to the space and making it their own there we go Now for my bark, what I'm going to do, I could use a um, permanent marker or you could buy a white marker to write herbs on there, but um, I've got a bit of glue left that we've been using and I want to make the most of it. So what I've done is I've cut a bit of um, baking paper into a triangle and I'm going to make a piping bag and pipe on herbs. So you don't have to do this. You can. Here we go. This so I'm just basically going to put on all that leftover glue and putting everything. I want this to be nice. Ooh. I want it to be nice and thick because I don't want this to fall off. Right. Now that that's stuck on, our herb planter is finished. Voila, let's lift it up a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Here we go. I thoroughly enjoyed making this herb planter with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I am looking forward to our next project together. See you guys soon.